<laughs> you know what I hate? You know, it's so difficult when you eat a hot pocket because you're like, man, I'm just so hungry. I, I just need a hot pocket. You know, it make my hunger better. So you go in the fridge or the freezer or wherever you keep hot pockets and you just stick that thing in the microwave. You know, you read in the box, you're like, just press the buttons, it's fine. They should make a hot pocket button actually. But you put the hot pocket in the microwave and then you're just waiting. Your stomach is like, it's trying to calm down. Finally, you open up the microwave and that glorious smell of hot pocket it's it's what the cheeseburger one or the pizza one it's just great you just can't wait and you go to pick it up you put it in the little pocket thing and you pick it up and you go to bite it and you bite that corner and it's like steaming hot lava it's not hot pocket anymore it's just hot lava pouring out of this delicious bread cocoon and you just can't eat your hot pocket because it's just it's gonna burn everything if you pour that thing on metal it probably will burn a hole through the metal so you decide to just cut it in the middle maybe it'll be a little bit cooler in the middle maybe it'll, it'll be easier to cool down so you cut it in the middle and you can't even get the knife through the hot pocket it's just solid pocket it's frozen and it's gross just hate when it's just hot on the outside and frozen on the inside the worst hot pocket ever and every one of them turn out like that so have you ever like just walked into like a bodega or a corner store or a deli or something and you're just on your your own path you know you want to buy something so you you go and you pick up what you like maybe it's like a snapple or something you know the the banana one is actually delicious but you pick up your snapple and you go to the counter and you place it on the counter and the cashier He's talking, he's having a conversation with someone else that works in the store. Probably the guy that cuts the deli meat or some other guy that gets stuff or whatever. He's talking to someone else that works in the store. And you're sitting here as a good customer, maybe waiting for him to finish up what he has to say. Maybe he'll just wrap it up because he has a customer. So you're just waiting and you're smiling, you're trying to be patient. Five minutes pass by, you're still standing there. This guy has not acknowledged you and you're getting frustrated. So you decide to take the nice approach and just say, excuse me. That was one excuse me too much. He turns around and gives you a death glare. A death glare? Why would he give you a death glare? You're a customer in his store. Without you, he wouldn't even have a store. He probably would, but <laughs> you you really would like to buy your Snapple. So you're like, I'm just here trying to buy a Snapple. And he looks at you and he's like, oh, rude. And maybe he turns to this person that he was talking to while he's bagging your Snapple. And he says something in Spanish. Oh, this lady, she's getting on my nerves. She's, she's just going in, the, in between my conversation with you. I don't know why she's so rude. You're trying not to go crazy. You don't want them to call the police or anything. That wouldn't be nice. So you call me, you take your Snapple, you pay your $1.50, $1.75, whatever. And you walk out. And on your way out, you turn to him, you go jerk, and you just run. That's the best. <laughs> you know what I hate? It's just my biggest pet peeve, getting cut off. I hate it when you're mid-speech, mid-thought or whatever, and someone just feels the need to cut you off because whatever they have to say is more important than what you were saying. It's even worse when you're getting cut off when it's something that you were asked about. Like, you're walking down the street and you see someone from grade school, you know, high school, depends on how old you are. You know, you just see someone you've known a while back and you haven't seen them in a long time. 
and they come up to you and they're like, hey, you know, what's up? I've been doing my stuff, you know, whatever. What have you been doing? And you're like, oh, you know, I'm a doctor now, and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, what field are you in? And you begin to tell them you're a plastic surgeon. You haven't even finished the word surgeon. And they just cut you off and tell you about their day. Now you're sitting here. You're trying not to get angry. You're like, I don't care about your day. Your day could just go fall down a hole and die because you asked me what I was and you didn't want to listen. I'm not gonna listen to anything you said. I'm just gonna sit here and sing in my head because you cut me off. I hate being cut off so much because it's just, ugh, you know? It's just annoying when you're just trying to get something out, trying to spread with the world what you have to offer, and you're just happy. You just do da do da do, you know? And someone is like, do da do da, stop. And it's not okay. <laughs>